I, um, I was the mother of a 10-month-old son, and I was actually on my way to work at the Missouri Real Estate Commission that morning, and I was headed westbound on Highway 50, and I had gotten to the first stop sign in Jefferson City, and it came across the radio. And I looked around, and you could tell it was coming across the radio for everyone else. And it was like the world literally stopped. Um, I got to my office and we watched for the day. And we, of course, we released early. I went and picked my 10 year old son up, or 10 month old son up, and sat in the living room floor with him in my arms and just sobbed, knowing the lives that were lost carelessly, selflessly. It's, um, it, was, it was a feeling of disbelief. I was in, I think it was like the ninth grade or eighth grade actually, um, in speech class, and um, you know the the principal comes over to the intercom and um, asks all the teachers to to turn on the station and um, to see what was happening, um, and everybody was in disbelief. Um, there was absolutely no words. Um, I just remember. Um, everybody kind of zeroing in on what was actually happening. You couldn't put words to it. It was just overwhelming. And um, to feel so, um, you know, hopeless in that moment um, and not knowing, you know, to this day, like how it would also bring so much communities together so we can remember all the lives lost. Yes, I, I very much remember um, that morning we had just opened the bank and I was working at the local bank there on the square in Bolivar, in my hometown, and um, someone came through and the mood within the whole building completely changed. Um, and we brought in a television immediately and we all begin, you know, begin to pray and think of all of those that had just lost their life and to find out uh, and to see all of the first responders that was so willing to step up and run into danger and so much appreciated that. Remember, I think we were in gym class and um, they immediately you know, turned on the TVs and I think at that time all of classes stopped and you know, we were focusing on what was happening and we had counselors and um, our teachers kind of trying to help us navigate because obviously as a kid you don't really understand the volume of what's happening. I remember it well, 23 years ago, I was a police officer here in Jefferson City, just got off the midnight shift about 7 a.m. Uh, at that time, I was part of our special operations team, the SWAT team, so got home, everything started happening, and back then, we got pages. Uh, we were still carrying pages at that time, and we actually got notification of what was going on, and we were told that we were on standby and to be prepared for whatever we needed to do for our community, because we weren't sure yet where it was going to happen, uh, what was going to happen, but we had to get a plan together. Times like that during tragedies, uh, you know, we all seem to come together the way that we should always be together. And, and they are at the forefront of each and every one of these tragedies. So we just appreciate and, and so proud that they're willing to step forward and be servants.